optimization. To find the minimum or maximum value of a variable, we can differentiate the appropriate expression, plot the differential equal to zero, and solve the resulting equation. This approach requires that the expression only has one variable. Often, however, for example when dealing with 3D shapes, we have more than one variable and therefore will need to eliminate a variable. Questions of this type on optimization will always give you two things. Firstly, a measurement to maximize or minimize, and secondly, a known measurement. Here's an example question. The cross section of a prism is a right angled triangle with sides in the ratio 3 to 4 to 5. If the surface area of the prism is 576 centimeters squared, find the maximum possible volume and verify that the answer is a maximum. So, firstly, a measurement to maximize the volume, and secondly, a known measurement, the surface area. Here is the method of solution. Stage 1. Draw a diagram and define your variables. So here is our right angle triangular prism with the sides 3x and 4x and 5x in the ratio 3 to 4 to 5 and the length of the prism is h. Stage 2. Determine expressions for the relevant measurements. So the volume, it's a right angle triangular prism, so we've got to times the area of the triangle by the length. So that'll be half times 3x times 4x for the triangle, times by h, giving us 6x squared h. For the surface area, we have two triangles and three rectangles. So the triangles are 2 times a half times 3x times 4x, and then our rectangles are 3xh, 4xh, and 5xh. This simplifies to 12x squared plus 12xh, and since the surface area is 576, we can put that in there, and the whole thing simplifies to x squared plus xh equals 48. Stage 3. Write the measurement to be maximised in terms of one variable only. So we want to maximise the volume. At the moment it says 6x squared h. But if we rearrange the surface area equation, x squared plus xh equals 48, to make h the subject, we take away the x squared and divide by x, and then we can substitute for this in our volume formula. So we get 6x squared brackets, 48 minus x squared over x, close brackets. Stage 4. Write this expression in a differentiable form. At the moment with the brackets we can't do that, but if we get rid of the brackets by multiplying them out, we get v equals 288x minus 6x cubed, which we could differentiate. When we differentiate we get 288 minus 18x squared, we put that equal to 0, and then when we solve that we can add the 18x squared to both sides, divide by 18, we get x squared equals 16, and we square root, so x is 4, obviously minus 4 isn't possible because that's not a length. Stage 7, find the value of this volume for this value of x. So we take our value of x of 4, we substitute that into our volume formula, and we get 768 centimetres cubed. Stage 8, verify that the answer is a maximum. For this we use the second differential. So we differentiate 288 minus 18x squared, which gives us minus 36x, which of course is negative for any positive value of x, not just 4. Solving equations. Sometimes you'll find yourself needing to solve equations like this one. 135x to the minus 2 minus 5x equals 0, in which case we would times through by x squared, and we get 135 minus 5x cubed, then a bit of rearranging gives us x equals 3. And, when using curved objects, you'll often find yourself having to cancel pi's as well. Goodbye.